Hey guys, what's up? I'm back. Today we will be making Iwazuru, which is an arranged bird. So firstly we just want to start off with a square piece of paper. And having the colour side facing up, we're going to fold it horizontally and vertically. And we're just going to unfold both of these. After we've done that, we have a cross and we're going to flip it over to the plain side. And we'll fold it diagonally or well, vertically and horizontally. If you've tilted it a bit like I have, 45 degrees, and we're just going to do the same. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kind of collapse all of this into one small square. So it's just going to pop the middle, and we're going to bring them all together. So the plain side, the side without the color, should be on the outside, and it should all come together like so, following the creases we made before. Cool. Now we have a square. So once we've done that, we're gonna rotate it so the open side's facing away from us and we're gonna fold the corners in to meet to the middle. We're gonna make sure we open this up. So kind of just putting your finger in and just opening the flap and just folding the creases and flattening it so it should look like this. So once now, just fold the side we put, just folded onto the side and just fold another one. So just same thing, folding it towards the center and then opening it up and flattening it and following the creases. And we're just going to fold the, the what is it, sides to the back and just make sure everything looks according. So we want to make sure that there's no flappy part placing on the front and there's no Placing on that back. Now for the now we're going to turn this over and pretty much do the opposite. So we're folding the corners to meet the center from the top open part. And once we've done that, from the bottom we're going to fold that up so it shouldn't pass where the crease is. Like so, so it should form a triangle. And then we're just going to open this up and following the creases. It should easily kind of come together and just collapse into a, tr a longer rhombus. Should look like so. So, once we have this, we're just gonna t turn it around. Okay. So we'll, when we turn around to the back. The bottom triangle part it should be facing up. So make sure you, in your ones it's facing up like so. <laughs> so now once we've done that, we want to fold it in half. Like so right after that, we're gonna make a crease. So just folding the bottom part up, forming like a triangle. And then we're going to open it up from the outside and kind of fold that side and kind of fold the other side, just that one layer. And this will help um, you kind of fold the whole thing over. So then we're just going to push it from the back, open up a bit, push it from the back and kind of bring it all together. Like so. So it should look like that. And we're just going to kind of make the neck of the bird now, so we're going to just kind of fold this in, just like pushing it in the middle. So once we've done that, we're just going to pinch it, pinch it in, so it all comes together again. So now that we have the neck, we're going to make the head, so head same thing, just push down, like folding a crane, push down the head to make, to make push down the neck to make the head, um, and then there we have it. We have the Yoazu, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but here it is. So just you know, adjust it. You can fan out the kind of the wings of it, and yeah, so it's great for decoration. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Also, quick announcement: I have started an Etsy store, so please feel free to check it out. Link will be below.